wormwood. In Greek, the name is absinthion or absinthos, ap, against, sin, offense, theos, ego. Hence my translation is against the offense of ego, meaning that the end times are caused by this ego, who is a star or angel that appears in the book of Revelation. Absinthios may also mean to be against sin's ego. Wormwood is mentioned seven times in the Hebrew Bible, always with the implication of bitterness. Seven times bitterness. The word wormwood appears several times in the Old Testament, translated from the word la'ana, which means curse in Hebrew. The seven become one, as wormwood is mentioned only once in the New Testament. In the book of Revelation, the third angel blew his trumpet, and a great star fell from heaven, blazing like a torch. And it fell on a third of the rivers, and on the springs of water. That would be referring to Hydra, a real creature. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many died from the water, because it was made bitter. Revelation 8, 10, 11. It has been scientifically proven that the poisonous red clay brought new fauna to earth, the worms and the northern woods, the wood of the red dragon. This would be a union of the fallen angel or star with the mother goddess, the original god of earth. The ground is now sour. The Greek word apsynthos, which rendered with the English worm wood, is believed to refer to a plant of the genus Artemisia, used metaphorically to mean something with a bitter taste. The English rendering of wormwood refers to the dark green oil produced by the plant, which was used to kill intestinal worms. In the book of Revelation, it refers to water being turned into wormwood, for example, made bitter. The fallen star or angel brings the poison, and the woods can be used to kill the worms. Very similar to the cat's eyes, the stinger of Scorpio. One eye is a gift, the other is a curse. Almost as if a cure has been derived from a disease to create an antibody. Or is this simply, as above, so below, so below, as above. Certain commentators have held that this great star represents one of several important figures in history, while other Bible dictionaries and commentaries view the term as a reference to a celestial being.
A dictionary of the Holy Bible states, the star called Wormwood seems to denote a mighty prince or power of the air, the instrument in its fall. That would be the fallen chariot of it, the wind demon. Based on other passages of scripture which mention Gal and Wormwood, the star signifies a self-derived intelligence which departs from God, thus it falls from heaven. For the star to make the waters of the rivers and fountains bitter signifies to falsify spiritual truth, as waters signify the truths derived from the word. I wonder if that word is Tao. In general, the Book of Revelation is seen as a prophecy of the corruption of the Christian churches in the end times, which is followed by a new church, signified by the new Jerusalem. A number of Bible scholars consider the term wormwood to be a purely symbolic representation of the bitterness that will fill the earth during troubled times. Noting that the plant for which wormwood is named, Artemisia absinthium or mugwort, Artemisia vulgaris, is known as a biblical metaphor for things that are unpalatable or bitter. The dragon's breath, the stinger of Scorpio, the raven of sin fire, the rock. Need I say more? <laughs>